Welcome to Atlanta Live here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Josh Franks along with my beautiful wife, Ashley, and we are your hosts tonight, and we are so happy to be with you. Now, we want you to sit back and relax and get your cup of coffee or your glass of sweet tea and get ready, and we're going to have a great show tonight. We've got some special guests going to be joining us, and we're excited to introduce them to you, but as most importantly, we thank you because you uh, are, this is the reason we're here, you know, right. actually to be able to come and to sing and minister and to share with all of you. And we're just so happy that you've taken your time to join with us tonight and watch wherever you're watching, whether right here in the greater Atlanta area or whether you're watching us online around the world through the WATC.TV app or whether you're watching us Facebook or YouTube Live, however you're watching us, thank you for doing it. Now, if you're watching on social media tonight, Facebook or YouTube, why don't you click that share button right now and share with all of your friends. If you're at home watching, take out your phone and get that uh, text pulled up there and text your friends and text your neighbors and tell them we're right here in Atlanta tonight on Atlanta Live. Well, actually, we got some guests, but before they come, we're going to sing a few. Can we do that? Sure. We'll have a few good songs here to share, and then we'll get right over to our guests. Well, here's an oldie but a goodie. See if you remember this. I am blessed. Yeah. I am blessed.
This is my favorite hymn of the church. We slowed it down so you can hear these lyrics. I found a friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. The fairest star, 10,000 to my soul. Lily of the valley, hill the Lord I see. All I need to cleanse and make me fully whole. In sorrow, he's my comfort. In trouble, he's my stay.
And we welcome you back to Atlanta Live tonight. If you're just joining us, I'm Josh. This is my wife, Ashley, and we're your hosts tonight. And if you have a need or a prayer request, there are operators standing by tonight, and we want you to go to the phone. There's a number on the screen right now, and you can call that number, and they'll be glad to pray with you and talk with you. And most importantly, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, they can lead you to him tonight. And I hope that you'll take that opportunity to make that call, and, uh, and we'd love to hear from you. We always yes, enjoy hearing from those uh, mm -hmm. around the country. And so please make sure that you call us and let us know that you're watching. Well, we have some guests with us on this program today here on Atlanta Live. And our first guest is no stranger to gospel music. Right. He's been in gospel music a mighty long time and made a name for himself. He's written a lot of it. And he's written a lot of gospel <laughs> yeah. music. That's exactly right. And we're just honored to have him here with us in Atlanta tonight. And I want you to welcome one of our dearest friends and one of gospel music's most best friends. How about it for <laughs> Mark Bishop? How about it, Mark? Hey, God. It's so good to be with you. Man, we're Love so happy guys. to have you. Enjoyed your singing so well, much. Well, thank you. Thank I you. I just forgot what, what a great group you guys have. Oh, well, there's just two of us. Well, I hope that anybody that gets a chance to come hear you sing that they'll do that because they'll enjoy it. Well, thank you. Well, we say the same about you. Mm -hmm. I, I always do. I always enjoy being with you. Well, we always Thanks. enjoy being with you. I'm glad you're with us tonight. Isn't gospel music just great? It's wonderful. It is the message that this world needs to hear. Absolutely. Yeah. There's so much that's discouraging. We need something that's encouraging. Absolutely. And this is it. Yes, that's the it. The gospel mm -hmm. is the good news. God has never done anything but encourage. That's exactly What is that old song Dottie Rambo wrote? He ain't never done me nothing but good. That's right. <laughs> it might not be good. It's not good English, but it's a good song. That's, that's a good, right. But that's from Kentucky, right? That's right. That's well, where you're from. I'm, did you think maybe I was from Boston with my accent? Well, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, from the hills and hollers of eastern Kentucky. That's I, it. I grew up in eastern Kentucky and been traveling and singing gospel music for about 38 years now. 38 years. I know. In two years, I'll be at my, my 40th anniversary in That's gospel unbelievable. Music. That's awesome. I love it. Now, what, if, if you don't know who Mark Bishop is, Mark traveled for many years with his dad and his brother, the bishops, mm -hmm. and then early 2000, they retired from, uh, from the family group, and Mark uh, went out and in, in, well, let's see, what, what would we say there, Mark? What we would say is my, my dad got to retire, and my brother got to retire, and my wife wouldn't let me retire. <laughs> What we and you had to keep on. Right. And, and, I, I was and home. Dad for, said we're going to retire. And your, your wife said, "Well, sorry, Mark's yeah. bag's already packed." Well, well I, I, I was home for a few months, and then finally my wife said, "Honey, is there not anybody you can go sing to?" <laughs> and I mean right now. <laughs> so you did. Yes. And that was in 2001. Actually, I was still writing songs. I'd written a lot of the songs for the group, especially in the later years. Yeah. And even though the group had retired from the road, our family group, God was still giving me these songs, the lyrics Absolutely. of these songs. And it was my wife, actually, who told me, she said, don't you think if God is giving you this music that you shouldn't be doing something with yeah. it? Yeah, Absolutely. So I called our old record company and talked to them, and they said, well, well, come on down with your music. Let's record it. And we put it out, and lo and behold, Gospel music radio station still continued to play it. Absolutely. So before I knew it, I was out singing. Again. And, and, and then uh, Harper Agency picked you up, booked yeah, your dates. Yeah. They had always scheduled the the group, the bishops. Radio and, took you on. So record company took you on. I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up, but until then, I'm just going to keep. <laughs> well, here's this. the fact: the fans love you, and the people love you, and that's why your songs it's still today charting, going to the mm -hmm. top of the charts in radio. Thank you. Putting out great Christian music. Thirty. I, I, I'm just sitting here. Thinking about that, 38 years later, oh, here you are still I'm getting old. sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. <laughs> now, don't get me into a bad place here. But it all started, we talked about this earlier today, and we don't have a lot of time, but you briefly shared today, it all started from a godly, praying, yes. wonderful Christian grandmother, uh -huh. Granny Bishop. Yeah. And uh, boy, what a testimony. Yeah, our um, Granny Bishop, yeah. who, who was a saint of God in the last two years of her life, had 
crippling arthritis and couldn't come to church. And so the whole reason that we recorded some songs was so that she would be able to listen at home because she couldn't come to church. But of the songs that we recorded, one of them started being played on a local radio station. And shortly after that, a guy from Nashville came up, heard the song, invited us to come record an album down there. And then that song became a hit and the rest was history. And before we knew it, we were out on the road singing to yeah. To tons of people and, and all over the world and 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 to this day I will just tell you it's not Mark Bishop's ministry at all it's it's Granny Bishop's because yeah. mm-hmm. she's still reaping the harvest that she planted absolutely. even though she's long gone absolutely and you've been all I mean you've you've sang for uh, some of the greatest churches and pastors in the world uh, uh, promoters and mm. Bill Gaither and the Gaither Just about any place that you can sing gospel music. We've we've sung gospel music All to the way to the Grand Ole Opry. Yeah, Grand Ole Opry. And back then, uh, especially when the group was so busy, Ralph Amory had his show, Nashville yeah. Now, Oh yes, and yes, Chase and, yes. And the Grand Ole Opry that was on TNN for a few years and all of that. And so any place that we could sing gospel music. But uh, the, the fact that you know, I couldn't, I couldn't reconcile why a dear saint of God like my granny was hurting with arthritis. Why, why would God allow that? But then all these years later, I can see where he used that in a positive way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though that was painful for her, he used her affliction to bless millions of other people. Yeah. Amazing. And where, where did you see that? Where, where did that come? Where did that bring that in that you understood what God was doing, how God was using your granddaughter. You know, there was one night that we were singing at one of the Gaither homecoming concerts, and it was in Atlanta at the Atlanta Dome, one of his homecoming concerts, and and we were singing to 60,000 people in that big arena, and there was a little old lady sitting on the front row as we began to sing that looked just like my granny. She had the beehive hairdo and the the granny glasses, and uh, and that's when it just kind of dawned on me, wow, the whole reason we're singing to this, this sea of people who love the Lord is because of the pain that she endured while she was here. So whenever people think that God can't use me in my situation, I I have a different story that I'd like to Mm -hmm. tell them about because God can use each one of us. Yes, He can. God needs ministers in every situation. Yes, He does. You ought to write a song about that. Somebody should do that. (laughs) (laughs) Actually, I think you already wrote a song uh, about that, and you can find more information about uh, the ministry of Mark Bishop at Mark Bishop music yes. dot com and I encourage you to go there and you're you're back of course we know we've been in all of this uh, pandemic and COVID and so kind of put a halt to some of your travel but you're back in full force mm-hmm. people can come see you again in yes. churches and concerts and mm-hmm. and uh, auditoriums all across the country as well as pick up your music and uh, they can also go and download your music right music is everywhere these days you yeah. can stream it on pandora and spotify and itunes apple play amazon all of that, all of that. and then of course there's the satellite stations and, yeah. and regular all of our friends in the am and fm stations who've been, who've been playing this music and sharing it and television years. just like yeah. right here but when it was all shut down we we still tried to stay busy in the studio recording new yes. music and, things. and you so, did great. Yeah, and oh, we had a great time. You've, your latest recording, uh, Some Distant Mountain. Yes. And uh, it's, I love that. Tell me a little bit. We've got just a couple minutes. Tell me a little bit about that recording. Well, absolutely. This, is a, this was a project I'd been wanting to record for a long time. Uh, being a songwriter, the record company usually wants me to just come in with new material because there's, there's publishing rights and there's something to be made from that. But uh, I want, wanted to do an album of older music, not just old music, but uh, music that made its way across the ocean generations yeah. ago, yeah. old Celtic music and European music. And I wondered what that music would sound like once... It had landed on these shores and then began to migrate west through the Blue Ridge Mountains and the Appalachian Mountains. What would that music sound like when it was no longer that? And so we brought in some old, really old instruments, the hurdy-gurdy and the concertina and the marxophone and and the old uh, goat's head Civil War era claw hammer banjo. How about that? And made some music and and had some musicians that were familiar with those kind of instruments. And so it's it's a blend of mountain music and Celtic music. And that's what you were raised and really grew up in around the mountains. Yes. In the hills of eastern Kentucky, yeah. everybody, you know, if, if Walmart has a grand opening, there's going to be a bluegrass group that's doing that. <laughs> because for many years, you, uh, your family, the bishops, uh, were known for that front porch fellowship even, singing. and Even though our band was piano, bass, drums, and a guitar, 
a lot of times we would end up doing a dozen bluegrass festivals every year wondering why are we here. And even a cappella numbers. Yes, yeah, we did a lot of, that's, and that's what we called front porch singing because that's where we learned to sing was yeah. on the front porch yeah. back home. That's Refining awesome. that harmony. That's it. Yeah. And it's so beautiful. There's nothing like it. Mark, we're so glad you came to be with us here you, tonight. Guys. And we're looking forward. We want to hear you sing tonight. Now, we can sit here and talk all night and share stories. and uh, But we want to hear you sing tonight. I'll be glad yeah. to. And uh, we want to get you ready for that. We thank you for watching Atlanta Live tonight. We're here with our friend Mark Bishop. And uh, he's going to be singing for us in just a few moments. If you haven't done it already, I hope you'll go to those phones and make that call if you need prayer. Uh, you need to talk to someone. Please don't hesitate to do that. I think actually at this moment while we're getting Mark prepared, we'll go to the phones and sure. those that are there. Uh, maybe they have a word that they'd like to share, an encouraging word, or uh, maybe a praise report or testimony, or they could pray with us tonight. And so let's go now to the uh, prayer room and uh, see what we have available there for us tonight. I'm Minister Juanita Solomon, and we're here in the prayer room, ready and eager to pray with you on tonight. Um, if that's you and you need prayer, we're here to partner with you. The word says in Romans 10 and 9, if thou shalt confess with their mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in their heart that God's raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. If you believe that, what are you waiting on? Give us a call. We're ready to go before that throne of grace with you. If you believe that, pick up the phone. Our number is 770-300-982. You can even reach us by email, prayer at watc.tv. You may know someone that does not know the Lord our God as their personal Lord and Savior. Have them contact us. We'll pray with them. We'll lead them to Christ. We'll just pick them up spiritually. Have them call in. What are you waiting for? The, the Lord says that cast your cares upon him because he cares for you, and we care for you. The Word said when two and three come together in his name, there he is in the midst. If you're around Around a lot of people. Get out the mist. Come and pray. Seek the Lord's face. His hand is always stretched out to you. Hold your arms out. Stretch out to our God. Pray with us. The number again is 770-300-9828. Pick up the phone. We're eager and we're ready for you to be our prayer partner. Dial in. Contact us. And we love you. It's a beautiful day for the sunshine I feel upon my face. A beautiful song that I'm singing, one about amazing grace. Maybe it's like this in heaven. Maybe this is but a taste of where every day will be a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day for the sunshine I feel upon my face. A beautiful song that I'm singing The one about amazing grace Maybe it's like this in heaven Maybe this is but a taste of where every day Will be a beautiful day So long till the storm clouds Take a look at those clear sunny skies Listen to birds as they're singing Like the angels up on high Take that smile that you've been saving, oh, it's time to set it free. I have found that it's contagious, sinful smile right back at me. It's a beautiful day for the sunshine, I feel upon my face. A beautiful song that I'm singing, the one about amazing grace. Maybe it's like this in heaven, maybe. This is but a taste of where every day will be a beautiful day. Was yesterday gloomy? Well, it's time to turn the page. There's no obligation. Don't always have to act your age. When you have this joy inside you, let it glimmer like a jewel. Let it bloom just like a flower. Soon your garden will sunshine I feel upon my face a beautiful song that I'm singing the one about amazing grace maybe it's like this in heaven maybe this is but a taste of where every day will be a beautiful day 
It's a beautiful day for the sunshine I feel upon my face A beautiful song that I'm singing Oh, what about amazing grace Maybe it's like this in heaven Maybe this is but a taste of where every day Will be a beautiful day Where every day will be a beautiful day Here's a song that tells a story about a family and the wonderful reunion that we'll all enjoy in heaven one day. A long time ago, two twin brothers always fought but loved each other. They grew up close, laying in the yard. Sickness came and hit them both hard. One brother lived, one brother died. Eight years old and for weeks he cried But time has a way of drying the tears Weeks turn the months and the months into years He graduated, he got married They were expecting she miscarried They both lived to a rightful day Him by her side the morning she passed on the couch and he stopped breathing He woke up on the other side There stood his brother Open wide, I've been waiting to see you again. What took you so long? Where have you been? I got here as fast as I could. I never dreamed I'd feel so good. I feel happy, I feel numb, I feel like crying, but the tears won't tears come. Won't come. Some lessons he had to teach me. Finally, I understood that everyone needs when they should. But I'm a slow learner. I got here as fast as I. She was holding the baby that they never had. I got here as fast as I could. I never dreamed I'd feel so good. I feel happy. I feel calm. I feel like crying, but the tears won't come. Some lessons he had to teach me Finally I understood That everyone needs when they should But I'm a slow learner I got here as fast as I could of Christ expressed through the cross and the sacrifice that he made for you and for me. Here's what he did. He walked the Via Della Rosa and struggled just to stay upright. The beams were heavy on Shoulders pushed along by Roman soldiers, love could not give up the fight. They formed 
the cross and laid him on it. They drove the nails into his hands. Now some may see a broken spirit, all I see is love and mercy where the cross of Calvary stands. You can't say he When all along the cross of Calvary was the price that he paid for me so that I could make it through. Now you can't say he didn't love us. You can't say that he didn't love us. You can't say Bishop, thank you, Mark, for being on the Atlanta Live show tonight. I'm so glad that Jesus loves me, and I know that he loves you. God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth upon him should not perish, right. but have everlasting life. He loves you tonight. Amen. And whoever you are, wherever you are, you know that Jesus loves you. You. We sang that little song in Sunday school, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Man, I could sit there all night thinking about the love of God, and we can never exhaust it. Mm -hmm. It's just that beautiful and that precious. Again, thank you, Mark Bishop. You can learn more at markbishopmusic.com. Ashley, in a few moments, we're going to have you to sing. You have a brand new yes, recording called Heart and Songs. Mm -hmm. It's just been released, and we're so excited about that. And so in a few minutes, Ashley's going to be singing three off of that brand new recording. So you will not want to go anywhere. Stay right there with us tonight. Now, we have a special guest tonight also with us outside of our friend Mark Bishop. We have a gentleman who actually pastors mm -hmm. right here in the greater Atlanta area, pastors in Buford, Georgia, at Journey Church. Mm -hmm. And he's been there now for several months, and he's with us here on Atlanta Live tonight. And we welcome Pastor Randy Coggins the second. Josh <laughs> Ashley, thank you guys for having me. It's We're a pleasure glad to be back. To have you. Sir. Man, I feel the Lord here tonight. You know, he's it's here. just a sweet, he's here. gentle peaceful spirit yeah. that I feel here tonight, mm -hmm. just thinking about the Lord and His love. Yeah. We could talk about it all night, we couldn't can. we? 
we can. And God, God is just just doing something amazing in yep. this season and in this time that we're in. There's so much discouragement. Yep. Um, there's so much, so many things going on. Whether it's economics, whether it's political, whether it's in the church, whether it's outside of the church, craziness yep. of a pandemic. Um, are we still in a pandemic? Are we free yet? Well, all right. this stuff going on yep. um, in school systems, just everything, um, lifestyles, and just everything that we could go a list on and on and Certainly. on and on. But one thing remains the same. It's it. Yesterday, today, and forever. And it's That's exactly it. what Mark Bishop said. His name is Jesus. Yep. And the finished work of the cross. Yep. Paid yep. it all. That paid it and, all. And something uh, that I heard one of our mutual friends, Pastor Bill Bailey, he says this all the time, that Jesus paid a debt that he did not owe yep. because we had a debt that we would never be able to pay that's for. Exactly. And that's something to be so thankful for tonight because no matter what we have done in our life, no matter what we have gone through in our life, Jesus has remained the same. Absolutely. He's with us on the top of the mountain. And he's, he's with us in the valley. Got that and that's right. just something to be excited about in this yes. season that no matter how rocky it may get, yep. he is a firm foundation. He's always there. He is a firm he's foundation. He's always there. And I'm thankful for that. And I know yep. that you are as well. 100%. And uh, just in your short time of living and ministry, you yeah. found God to be faithful. Every single time. And uh, you have a beautiful wife yeah. and children. Tell yeah. us how old your children are. Carrie, uh, Carrie and I have been married now eight years together, almost 10 years. Time flies. And it now does. we have three beautiful children. Randy the third, he's six years old. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Mia, she'll be four in December. And then our newest addition, baby Catalina, yep. uh, Princess Cat, uh, she is now three months old. Three I think just months a week old. Or so. Time flies. It does. And and, um, and God has just been so faithful. Yep. And yep. that's uh, one word tonight that if anybody listening or watching, uh, whether it's live or whether it's a rerun or replay, it's just faithfulness. Yes, absolutely. God is faithful absolutely. every single time. Yep. No matter what you are facing, whether it's the loss of a loved one, whether it's um, um, financial situations, whether it's the rising inflation that we're seeing, He remains faithful. Yep. Right. And I always say, if God brought food to the prophets in the time of a famine, he yep. brought ra the ravens brought manna from heaven, and I just believe that the same God that did that is the same God same that can take God care of us right here, where Absolutely. we are every single time. And I think time. we can all testify yeah. to the God's faithfulness every time. You and your season of ministry and evangelistical work, yeah. and then uh, God transitioned you from that yeah. into pastoral work. Right and uh, moved you back to the state of Georgia moved, moved in a right place back. that you thought, no, nah, not going back there, yeah. not going to do that. Yeah. Oh, never and, say never. Never huh? say never. And here you are. And tell us a little bit about where God has planted you yeah. for this season yeah. at Journey Church. We're just so excited about it because I just believe that the area we're in, I was born and raised right here um, in this area of Beaufort, Georgia, Metro yep. Atlanta area. And, um, and I just, when God gave us the confirmation uh, to come here, to plant, um, and to be at Journey Church, powerful church. Powerful and you didn't ministry. expect that? No, no, not at all. And um, uh, that was not really on our radar, but it's amazing how God shifts things. Yeah. And just at the right time, because if it would have happened a year ago, it, it been wouldn't, been, yeah, wouldn't, been, wouldn't, wouldn't have even right. happened. Right. But the way God lined it up sure. is just so amazing. And the vision of our church, find it, live it, and share it. Finding Je Jesus, living, um, living a life that is pleasing to Jesus, but sharing Jesus in yeah. every single way possible. That's, awesome. that's what we're believing for, and that's what we're doing. And so I just believe that we are going to see something, not just for our church uh, right here in Beaufort, Georgia, but also for the region, yeah. also for the people that we can reach through television, yeah. through radio, through social media, everything like that. Right. And I just believe a true, and I don't say this in a cliche way, but a true revival. I, I believe it's time for a true reviving yes, of the church, me but too. not just the church, but the people that are not in church, yeah. right. and not just recycling church people, right. but for people that don't know Jesus. Yes, because, yes. I mean, I was sitting in a meeting not that long ago at, at a school, and uh, they were saying the Pledge of Allegiance uh, to the flag, and they got to the part where it said, One Nation Under God. And this uh, young girl looked at her mom, and she said, Who's God? Wow. Who, who is God? And then, and then the mom's trying to explain about God and church, and then she mentions church, and then the mother said, Well, what's church? Wow. And so you begin to hear those know. things, and you have an entire group of yeah. people mm -hmm. and a generation of people that they're right. looking for something. Right. They're trying to fill it with something, mm -hmm. but there's one thing that's going to fill the void, yeah. and his name 
it's is it. Jesus. That's right. And so that's that's the mission and that's the plan, to reach you know, the lost at any cost, man. You know, Pastor Randy, for you and I being raised in a godly home yeah. And, yeah. and knowing church and knowing God and, and the ministry, we don't see those things like that because uh, we wasn't raised that way. Right. But when we get into the realistic of this world, mm -hmm. if you yep. will, and see how many hundreds of thousands, probably millions of people sure. that are without God, yeah. without church, yeah. uh, without knowing anything about our form of religion, if yeah. you will, even though we don't really put and label Christianity in religion because right. it's not a religion, yeah. it's a relationship, it's a relationship. Yeah. with Jesus Christ. Right. But how many people are out there like that? And you need to, if you're watching me and listening to me, wherever you are, you need to find you a good, God-fearing, Bible-believing, teaching church. And you need to get in that, especially if you are right here uh, in the uh, Buford, Georgia area. Uh, I want to challenge you and encourage you to go and visit them at Journey Church here, Pastor Randy Coggins. Give me that address where your yep. church is we located. We are at 1350 Buford Highway, uh, right there in Buford, Georgia. Journeychurchbuford.com. Okay. And then also randycoggins.com, and there's links there. And they can find all that yeah, information. Man. And uh, I'm just, we're just, you teach, yeah. you teach and preach Jesus, right? Hey, Jesus. All right. From I Genesis just want to, to Revelation. Now, you to preach the, the cross. That's right. You preach Jesus. the blood. That's right. Preach the Holy Ghost. That's right. You got it all. Got it all. All right. So that's what we want to hear out there. We believe it. And uh, we're, we're, we're supporting this work, and uh, we're believing God's going to use your church and your ministry, and not only just right here in Buford, Georgia, but I must say for Ashley and I as well, yeah. God has used us not only in our hometown of Savannah, Tennessee at the People's Tabernacle Church, yeah. but God has given us a platform. So, and in yeah. this hour and this day that we're living in with the technology and the social media and the, and the means of, of technology, we're able to reach people all over the world today, right, right outside of Savannah, Tennessee, right outside right. of Buford, Georgia. Yeah. The same spirit and the same God we feel and teach and preach right here, right now. He's the same God that can be in Africa and Asia mm -hmm. and Europe and, and uh, wherever that you might be. But we just want to do our part in pointing people to Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's our mission. That's our focus. That's our goal. Uh, that's what we've been called right. to do. And I know that's what you've been called to do. And, and right. it's not just a calling upon Randy Coggins the yeah. second. It's your entire family. And I know God's going to use all of you mm -hmm. in this season. We're proud of you. And we're, you, we're, we're believing God for great and mighty things. I know you are too. 100%. We're believing God to do extraordinary things. Yeah. I always say supernatural is when God takes his super and causes it to collide with our natural mm -hmm. and yeah. it brings something supernatural. Super and I just want to say something real quick to every person that's watching. No matter what you're going through tonight, no matter what's happening in your life, no matter where you find yourself at this moment and at this hour, yeah. Allow God to come in the midst of your situation. Right. He's always walking in the midst of the storm. And so no matter what you're facing, hold on to the unchanging hand of God. Yes. And your life will never, ever be the same. Absolutely. Whether it's family, physical, spiritual, emotional, mental, financial, whatever you need him to do, says in the scripture, our God is able to do exceedingly, exceedingly. abundantly above yeah. all that you could ever ask or think according to the power that That's worketh it. within us. And the same the Holy power Ghost that power. raised Christ Jesus yes. from the dead yeah. is the same power that's living you on the inside You better believe it. Us, if you're I watching us right now yeah. and you haven't made that call and you, you need to talk to somebody, you need someone to pray with you, the number is on the screen. Please go to those phones, pick it up, give us a call. We're here. There's operators standing by, prayer warriors that are waiting to hear from you, and they'll be glad to assist you and to pray with you. Randy, I tell you what let's do before Ashley gets ready in just a moment to go sing and before she moves. We got just a few minutes. Yeah. I just feel led. Maybe we should pray over the people tonight. Let's do it. And let's pray. Maybe they're watching, they're listening. Maybe they're, they're in the transition. Maybe they're trying to decide what to do, yeah. where to go, uh, Whatever that it is, let's let's pray for them tonight. Would you do that? Would you pray? Honest, let's yeah. do that. Lord, I pray for every person, man, woman, boy, and girl, yes, Jesus. listening and watching right now. And God, I thank you that even in the midst of life's transition, 
you are our firm foundation. Yes. Yes. And God, is even as I point my hands towards this camera, I thank you right now that you are moving in every heart, oh, yes. in every spirit, in every soul, God, in every mind. I right thank now. you that this is the season this is and the this season. is the hour yes. where they will walk in faith and power. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name, yes. God, we thank you that out with the old and in yes. with the new, yes. in every single area of their life, God. And we, I just send that to every person watching. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. And everybody said amen. Amen and, and, amen, and, amen. and amen. Thank you, Pastor Randy Coggins, you for, for joining us. You go visit Journey Church, Buford, Georgia. And when you get there, you find Pastor Randy and say, I'm here because I saw you on Atlanta Live with your friends Josh and Ashley Franks. It's been a joy to be with you tonight. We are so thankful for you. Mark Bishop, our friend, was here earlier. And, uh, of course, my wife has a brand-new solo recording that we're so excited and happy about. You can find all of that on our website at joshandashleyfranks.com. And if you want to purchase that, you can go and see her. And you'll be glad uh, that you did to get that new recording. She's going to be singing three brand-new songs that she wrote off of her new recording, and uh, I think these songs will minister to you. All of them have been written from experiences and her relationship with God, and so I want you to take these songs and allow them to minister to you and to your heart and allow them to be spoken unto you. And again, this is why we do what we do tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We want to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with each and every person that we can. Somebody asked me the other day, they said, how many people are you trying to reach? I said, as many as I possibly can, because the Bible teaches us that God came into this world for all of us. He sent his son Jesus for all of us. He died for all of us. And so we don't want to see one single person lost and undone without God. We want them to come to Jesus. We want you to come to Jesus. We want you to be saved and to find Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Can I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, not only does he want to be your Savior, he wants to be your Lord. He wants to be your leader and your guide and your helper. As Pastor Randy said a few moments ago, he will do exactly what you need done in your life. That what you're looking for, drugs and alcohol and, and the needle and, and the pornography and, and, and whatever that it is that you're trying to fulfill your life with, you will never be able to find it until you find Jesus Christ. He will fill that emptiness. He will fill that void that is in your life. I believe that today. Maybe you're watching this, and maybe you're an unbeliever. You don't know Jesus. Or maybe you are a believer tonight, and you know him. But maybe there's some things that, that's built up in your heart. Maybe there's some walls that's built up. Can I encourage you to tear down those walls and let Jesus work in your heart and in your life? I'm Josh Franks here from Atlanta, Georgia, on Atlanta Live tonight, thanking you for watching. Let's go now. Ashley's going to sing. Here's our first one. Tear down the walls. God bless you. There's a lot of people who come together under the steeple. Some come with struggle, no one can see. And some are hiding every broken piece, silently crying for help. Cause they think they can't tell it to someone else. Took off the mask and stopped the pretending. 
well. I'm thinking maybe we see a change because the truth is we're all the same. So let's tear down the walls we hide behind. Open the windows, let them see inside. Freedom is found when shackles fall. can make you feel all alone and the ones you love the most you look around and they're gone and i know it feels like you're all by yourself but there's one in your corner and he's waiting to help just look in his word and you'll find there is love on each page that you'll read. And the truth is you're never alone. The truth is this world's not our home. So many lies that we hear every day. 
find one that's already on the other side. I imagine in my mind that this might be what they would say to you. It wasn't long ago.